Okay, everybody, hello. Monday morning. It's a sunny day. You may be wondering why I've got my sunglasses on. And it's not because of the sun. <laughs> it's because of these. Ryan has come to work and rolled his shorts up we and he's got... To any customers yeah. today. Anyone that witnesses these... Yeah, I apologise in advance because... Really, Ryan, you've got to be careful. You could get arrested with them out. No, no, I'm all well, right. Well, it's it's there, man. You can't see, <laughs> yeah, you can't see the bottom. Sure we've got no pickups near high school. Oh, <laughs> my God. What are those? I better get the bag of In fact, I can't say it. I'll look at mine. I know, yeah. Yeah, but my legs are all right. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with these? Mine are solid. Well, like I said today from it's... earlier, you don't get them out, they don't get a tan. Yeah, yeah, that get some fake tan on them at least, Ryan. Whoa. Jesus, I mean, it's not... No, then I would look good. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not dogging the legs down. It's just the, the oh. they haven't not seen sunshine in probably eight years. No, no, they haven't. They <laughs> do, you just go white in winter. Yeah, yeah, milk anyway, bottles, yeah. I brought you some coffee. Oh, nice one, cheers. Right, so, today we want to... Uh, I just want to sort the yard out a little bit. We've had a bin of scrap go this morning. I want to actually get some more racks up this week and just have a bit of a sort out. I did move these racks on Saturday. I just pushed that one in a little bit and just tidied them up, straightened them all up. So now we've got all the singles up against the, the building. And there is actually three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 cars on racks just there. So that's good. And then I've got another two rows of doubles to go in. But to get the doubles in down here, I need to uh, just clear this area. Really, we could have done with Kenny in, but we all know Kenny does not do Mondays. So really, if I had chose to rely on Kenny, it's my own fault, which is why I didn't. So I just want to clear these wheels. I need to get some tire racking for all the wheels what are on eBay. And it's just a lot of scrap really. So that'll be very easily sorted. And then eventually I would like to move these uh, bins further up. I want to shimmy the whole scrap bay up that way. So yeah, that's the plan. Have you been doing a bit of recording? Yeah. These are Nathan sunglasses, by the way. He claims the Ray-Bans, but they actually say Ray-Berry on the side. And what are yours? Are yours Ray-Berries? No, no, mine are Freebies. What are them? GT? GT's by Miller. Oof. These are uh, Freebies off the stand at the construction chola. Oh, are they? Oh, that's not too bad then. <laughs> Well, I'm going to gift Nathan his, his Rayberries back. They are actually Raybans. Why are you wearing them for work? Are you like Secret Millionaire or something, eh? Alright, see you soon. We'll quickly see what John's up to and then we'll crack on. Right, we need to be quick, John, because they don't like the office. Oh, they don't like the office, but it is Monday morning. Yesterday I did um, half a marathon, so today I'm absolutely knackered. My Fuzzy legs are gone, I am gone. But I still got oh, to work. Here, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, what's he after? But I managed to um, raise some money for my cousin's um, house fund, so I did all right. It was for a cause, but yeah, I did. I got my. I did it in two hours and three minutes, and I didn't train for it. I do a bit of football every Thursday, but that's all I did. How many miles? It was about just over thirteen miles, but. Honestly, I'm paying for it now. I oh, really am sure. paying for it now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm absolutely knackered. 13 miles, boys, not bad at all. I mean, I struggled running the back, so <laughs> not much I have to do. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, if you're lucky, I might get a bit of a sneaky clip of John walking because he. Yeah, yeah, he's walking yeah. like John Wayne. No, you'll be able to see it on the camera, won't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get that. You'll be able to see me walking in the yard earlier. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, keep on watching, keep on getting involved, and enjoy. We're on the open road now. And, uh, went to Blackburn to get this first one. It is a Volkswagen Golf. 52 plates, that's all one lap four, I think. So, yeah, what a lovely day. Another lovely day, it's been to be hot all week. As you can see, my t shirt's on. I'm sure you've got my shorts on as well, but. Nathan's already took the rick out of me for that. So I've got milk bottle legs. <laughs> well, you don't get them out, they don't get a tan, do they? First collection of the day. 52 plates, golf. That was uh, some exhaust problems with it.
Well, we'll get a load it up. Was loaded up. We got back to the yard. Hey, dude. Great, good day. How we doing, Paul? Busy. Busy. Eh? Mondays always are, aren't they? I'm good. I was walking with the camera in your face. So, boys. Monday. Done it. What time did you start? It'd be early, won't it? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. He was in packing. Now that is what you call dedication. There ain't so many that do that. And you'll probably be here till five again, won't you? Twelve hour shift. I don't know. I'm going to do it. Uh, you bloody well are. Can you imagine that? <laughs> so we're going to be doing a bit more on the shop front, or should I say the reception? The shop front's actually done now. I don't know if you got an update last week, but we're going to go and quickly show you now. You're getting a bit excited, aren't you, Donny? I am. Because your office is finally uh, coming along. It is. And we're getting the wind, window put, put in. Yeah, we need a window in here, it's too dark. Yeah. But look at the light coming in from the shop front, that's unbelievable. So, I think the next job is probably finish off boarding this wall here. Uh, I think we're just going to put battens on and then board it, just so if we dot and dab, the moisture can sometimes come through. And these buildings, are they not? the best things in the world so we're probably going to just uh, batten it board it all finish it off and then we want a counter across the front here just looking nice and fresh so yeah uh, it's busy in the yard today i'll quickly show you that uh, trying to get some more car racks up simply because we need the space uh, we've got three ton in Depolluting. I think he's going to be getting the the afternoon free to do the office. So yeah, I've just been putting all these cars up and adding them to the system. So all these parts on the cars are actually advertised online, so we can be selling stuff off the racks. It's a little system what we're trying out. So I'm just going to finish building this rack here and then fill that. I mean, these doubles, you've got six cars on each rack, so it's a lot better. So, yeah, I'll show you that now. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on the machine later as well, boys. It's not recording yet. Right, I'll go in, I'll let you do your hair. Ooh, it was recording, I got you. Do you want to hold that camera, John? Right. No, he's, he's got his hands dirty today. So, Jarrett's coming here. He hasn't rang me again, he's just turned up like he does, demanding this, demanding that. And I'm not happy with Jarrett, because you, what have you said you've got today? From all the other yards. Well, all the other yards have catered for me today because of the heat. It. I'm not having it. I've had ice creams and cold drinks. <laughs> I get here a bit of rusty water that's warm. And that, that's you won't even be getting that out of me, mate. Right, we'll get these been swapped and then I'm going to show Jarrett what we've got in, in stock for him. Got a bit of a surprise for you. Don't be getting your hopes though, it's not decent that. <laughs> comes down here demanding brews. Sometimes he comes down here and he doesn't even take a bin. He just stops in for a brew. <laughs> it's like a little pit stop on the motorway here. Right. right. Grab that. So I'm just going to quickly nip out. I'll be back in five minutes. Right. Right, look how he's walking boys. Why are you trying to walk normal now, John? I said, why are you trying to walk normal? Nah, I'd have flicked that up. You'd have, you, you should have noticed that. Look at me blaming you. How could I notice it when you patch it so close to my skip? I'll flick it up, no. Oh, hey, Stu. Hey, 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 how are you doing that? Well, Stu, on the mic. He's trying to dog us down, because there's a wire hanging down the side of the bin. Oh, I should. 
He, he was actually trying to find him. <laughs> He's gone too soft. Once at a time, we'd have flew down the motorway at 90 mile an hour with that. Right, let's see if we can get it first time. Oh, nearly. Bloody hell, he's done that before, hasn't he? Jesus. Right, boys. Right, come on. I'm going to quit the uh, show job that we are the best yard around here. And Thank Danny, you, Danny's not got a patch on us. <laughs> right, Jarrett's actually. Do you want a brew? So, Jarrett's actually. I've managed to get him up here because I've told him about this surprise. Oh, look who's here. Barcode. Oh, well. Typical. Oh, Asbury starts. This is the present. <laughs> no, no, not the box, but <laughs> look at these Ooh, bad boys. Look at them bad boys. Someone subscribe sent us these. So you've got a, a pit there. They're your best subscribers, aren't they? Yes. Good shot. So look at that, boys. Video evidence, yeah, that we do look after Jarrett, and he's lying when he says we don't. Aren't you? He only does it for blackmail. Who, Jarrett? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right, I'll leave them there. Nobody's the, ever said anything. These won't last long, you know. No, They'll actually last. They'll, They'll probably be gone in two days. So, yeah. Right, we're going to leave it there. Uh, that's it, innit, really? Are we doing, son? I'm Let's okay. get you mic'd up, son. No, I'm not mic'd up, lad. No, on, son. Nope. Son. I'll hold it and say that's it. Oh, how are we doing, anyway? Feel shaky. The people haven't seen you for a bit. Shaky for what? From that run? Yeah, you haven't done a run there. Did you not do a marathon? Did you not do a marathon yesterday? Yes, look at you. Yeah. Definitely not do a marathon. I think wow. the other thing Ben can run. In fact, I'm not even sure if I'm going to run this No, I don't even think you can go back. back. Look at the state of your pal. No. It's not cold work, actually, it is. Right, so listen, boys. Little treat for you. We've got Ben in the mix. Uh, we've not seen Ben for a while, have we, Ben? What's been going on? Not a lot, really. Not a lot, yeah, that's what we're doing. Not playing. a lot. So uh, we need to try these packets on. Come on. Where are they? Yeah. We're going to show you. Have you got the mic? Yes, I've got the mic. We're going to show you what Ben's wearing. Wow, thank you for that, really. Oh, no. There. Ooh, that's that's really that'll do you, that. How is it? 3XL, that one. Yeah. That'll take you. If not, then so much pepper on them. You look like a lemon. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'll tell you I'll what, tell you what you're not looking too bad. I'll tell you what, you scrubbed up alright. Yeah, he hasn't scrubbed up. <laughs> He's just put a jacket on. What are you laughing at? Is that Yeah, I'll put it in. Sorry, sir. Keep working. Keep working. Hello, and welcome back to a fresh YouTube video. Tell us about this guy. So someone ran me up yesterday. I can't remember his name. I do apologise. There's that many people. <sighs> There's a lot of people ringing up, um, subscriber-wise. Um, yeah, it is a little bit dark, but he was asking me, um, what do I do? And he wants to see more of me on the camera. So this is for you, whoever you are. So Tuesday. Oh God, my legs are still sore. Look who's in, John. Who? Wow. <laughs> you fought it on Monday today, didn't you, Kenny? Yeah, when I woke up. Right, so Kenny is putting the radiator packs away on this racking what we built. The newly built racking. Uh, it's looking fresh. So we've got a lot to still go at here. We've got all the panels still ready to go away. Are you all right, pal? No. Why are you walking like John Wayne? Because I've just done half a marathon. Get it in the comments. I did a half a marathon in two hours and three minutes. Let me know if that was a good time. So, we've got a lot of the panels already scanned away, there's still a lot to scan away and we need to label up the shelves and then redo them, then they're done, we'll do a full stop check of them. Once the radiator packs are on there, all the new tags are on, we're going to do a full stop check of them, bam, ready to go. On to the next. Right, we've just got... We've just got... Um, because when we had the lean-to where the engines are, we had a bunded wall because... If you're a scrapyard, you'll know that you need to have all your liquids in a bunded tank or a bunded area. So we've knocked down that wall and then the diesel tank now, we need to quickly replace the environment said, look, you need to get that tank replaced ASAP. So we've bought the bunded tank, fully bunded, all sealed up um, with a pump on it. 
that's going to go into the racking in there, and then we're going to. This is a 1300 litre. This is a 1300 litre one. I don't want to fill it right to the top because we will be adding diesel into this from the cars. So we're going to fill it up with a thousand litres. We've got a good rate on it as well. So uh, money wise, it will actually be saving us money. Um, so we'll get that sorted. So like John said, we're going to get this tank in place now. Uh, it's only ever been used for diesel, so it's clean inside. It's a, a bonded tank, you probably know, but it's a tank in a tank. So if anything, if one of the, if the inside tank bursts, it, it p empties into the other tank so it can never leak. Uh, it's just what the environment want me there. So yeah, we're going to get that in place today. Uh, three tons in doing all the depolluting. Yeah, so we're getting there, we're going to get this in place now. We've showed them the shop front, haven't we? Yeah, about 800 times yeah. now, yeah. Well, we give, you've asked for the shop front, you get it. Right, well, we've got three ton in the mix, boys. But well, what are you doing now? Uh, over in the back doing shipment. So usual day for you then. I love it. Tell the people what, what's going on in the reception. Everything. They don't like it when I put the mic in your face, have they? <laughs> right. So three ton is deep. Is deep polluted everything. So now he's going to jump on the uh, reception. Uh, I think he's going to be doing a bit more boarding. Yeah. And then there's a bit of wiring to do, isn't there? Quite a bit to do. There's still a lot to do, but if we keep doing a bit every day, it will come too. So, yeah, now what I've done here, I've put... I could have sat the tank on the racks, but I just want to be more than safe. So I've put... So I've built like... Well, I've, I had a, a stud in with a, a ply hardwood frame. So I'm going to sit the tank on top of this board it's just a bit more support, you see, for the weight, because when there's a thousand litres in it, there'll probably be, well, there'll be a ton in there. So I'm going to just tie this to the racking or screw it down, and then it's a solid platform. Yeah, oh, yeah, they'll do, yeah, just bang them in. Four. Yeah, it's, well, just get as many as you can in. So it, I just literally just screw up just a little bit so it can't slide off. I don't oh, want it to be able to slide. And same on that side over there. So. The bin's going to do that now, and I'm going to go and get the tank ready for dropping it in place. Right. The bin's uh, screwed in your little screws, aren't you? I am. So now we're going to lift this tank up into place, and, uh, yeah, get it all plumbed in, boys. I'll show you that. So, we're just clearing out this bottom bit of the yard now. We've got Kenny, the bin, helping. <coughs> As you can see, we've got a lot of rubbish to get rid of here. Car racks are left over, a bit of an export engine there. Um, what else is there? Just one minute, I'm setting this um, camera up. Yeah, we've got the um, like tubs of brake discs, motors these are all going um today so a um, bit of an old engine what um needs scrapping but he's, as you can see it's just a lot of rubbish and dirt um, we've got kenny moving all these wheels you're just stacking them in a fashionable order along here for now until we get hold of some um wheel racking tire racking we're going to use and then we'll obviously get an area set up with the tire racking but for now, this will do the job. So, and create more room. <laughs> but it's looking better, isn't it? A lot better. More organised. More organised, exactly. Right, so John's explained what's going on down there. There's a lot going on all at the same time now. What I'm quickly going to just explain to you with this car, for example, this is just a scrap car. 
and uh, normally would depollute it, alloys off, cat off, battery, process it. But now what we're actually doing, because of the, uh, the Arctic trailer backs, we are now storing headlights and wing mirrors and rear lights. Any like quick goodies, what we can sell and harness more profit from the cars. So we're gonna take the rear lights and the headlights off this and then scrap it and we might get an extra 200 quid out of the car. Right, I'll, I'll get behind the counter, John. How are we doing, sir? Can I, how can I help you, sir? Are you laughing? Right, so, I've just finished boarding this front now, on the shop front. Uh, I've put a few battens behind it on the wall. And, uh, like saying you've done it. I have done it. He's done everything. <laughs> Haven't I done everything pre -tun? Yeah, everything. What have you done? Fuck all. <laughs> Language please, we are live. Uh, no, so Free Ton has been nice. He's done a good job actually. I think we rarely say this to Free Ton, but he's not done too shabby. He's not done too bad at all. Uh, we've cladded the uh, the walls with boards and we've actually battened it because we didn't want to dot and dab because uh, the walls, it's not really the best building in the, wo in the world. So we didn't want to draw moisture through. Uh, but yeah, it's all done. The wall water is built behind that. So really, it's just ready for the ceiling to be boarded, then we can bead and scrim and then plaster. Yeah. And believe it or not, three tons of plaster as well. <laughs> Is there anything that you can't do? Uh, Apart from a full gas. Gas, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm joking. gas yeah. No, no. He, he probably could do gas, but just I not just legally. Yeah, just yeah not legally. Gas. He stays away from gas. The only thing I do stay away from. So yeah, we're uh, we're gonna have a quick brew in a minute, and then we're gonna have the bin and free ton in here, boarding the ceiling. I might even show you a little cheeky cat. Oh, no, uh... it's not gonna be. A... <laughs> oh, look at Ryan quickly moving. Then jumps at Kevin. <laughs> right, Donnie, what have you got to say? Oh, merch. Tell me about the new merch. Yeah, wait, uh, that's a big one. My house. You you've got one on. That's it. Even I don't have one. No, I'm joking. Just no, we're getting some made. When I get a maid, you can have one. When this I get is a maid, you can no, have one. we're ordering a load. This is the process time.
What? More, more gaps. What's what? Look at the frigging ball in that, mate. That's not me. That's, that's, that's the actual ceiling. Now I can do it. Nah. it you won't see it in here once it's all boarded in plastic. You won't we see it. We do it thicker there, don't you? No. Right, well. We've just collected the last car of the day, which is this Ford Focus here. And uh, we was informed it's off a subscriber who watches all our videos and the guy even had it on the telly while I was there. So, he sold his name and we told him we're going to do something special because he was going to scrap it with a local company but because he watches our videos, he's... Because uh, he watches our videos, is specifically one he does to come and pick this car up. So I've had a word with James. What's he called? Porrick? Porrick. Porrick, look, I'm sorry I couldn't be there, but we send fruit job on the job. Or <laughs> fruit cake. cake, fruit on the cake. Job. <laughs> so I hope that you're happy with the service. And I just want to say thank you for scrapping your car with us. Where was it quite far? Ribblesdale, Preston. I mean, he could have picked someone better. There I mean, not better, but he could have picked someone closer. No, well, you've got a lot of scrap yards down so, there. So, I just want to say thank you for scrapping your car with us. And what I'm going to do, well, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do, but it's one up a tea, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Keep watching to see what happens to uh, Porrick's little focus.